Hey there YouTube, this is Cloud of Tank. Um, I just got to do a little, um, a little update for the uh, Wolitzer 3700 Americana. Um, I, I was over here last night and I um, decided to try to work on something while I was working on another jukebox I got. And I haven't told you yet. But, um, I, fi I figured out the um, stereo problem that I had about the um, amplifier. I uh, went to trace out to see exactly what was actually going wrong with the amp. Um, I went and checked it out, looked at it, and um, nothing seemed to be burnt and burned at all. Just um, one of the um, caps looks a little funky because the um, one side looks like it exploded, but it's it's still contacting. So I went and checked it out and still got contact there. So I went to check out these two plugs right here, A and B plugs. I unplugged one plug to find out to see if I get any sound out of it. I get sound out of this cable with the red dot here, but this one here I didn't get no sound at all. So I went and chased it back, and it travels all the way down to the bottom of the mechanism, comes around and then comes over to a, um, a junction. That little junction right there, even though it's kind of hard, it's dark, but it went all the way up to that junction. A little bit of light on it if I can again. There. I turned the jukebox on to get a little bit more light, but there's a little junction box. This is the um, old original one that's going into the tuning arm right now. This um, one of these, I believe, no. You can see, as you can see right there, one of the wires just now came out on me. That right, that wire right there is broke, so. Um, so what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to see if I can get this um, reconnected or something. Get it back in there. I might have to do something, but I'm not sure. I don't think I got a soldering gun over here, but... But I used this wire here from another Willis well, 3700 I got. Took it from it, since I bought it for parts, and all I got is the mechanism left. The body is gone. Uh, what the test now, I got left and right channels for it. I used the song All Star from Smash Mouth to as my test record to check out my left and right. And one way I, I used on that record was a special note that they play during the song where it does like a little chime towards the beginning of it. You kind of hear it go off and then it goes into an echo. Well, I was only getting half of that tune, so. So now I'm going to try and see if I can get that thing up and going again. Hey, okay. I um, I got a rec. I just um, temporarily fixed that wire right now, but I got it disconnected at the moment because they want to have you guys listen to this. Um, I'll be using my most favorite song that I got, most favorite song that I love, my top one number one song from the Orleans. Still the one. It's a good test record for me to use because you need both left and right to to um hear the notes at the beginning of the song. I'm going to first play it with that, with that water disconnected, then I'm going to put it on, then have you guys listen to the difference. Right there, that was just one side of it missing. So now I'm gonna connect that wire and have you listen to the other, listen to that part again. You see right there, when I took that side off, all you can hear was the drums when it first started up. First you hear one guitar, then the drums would pop in, then another set of guitars would also pop in. But you didn't hear that on the first one. But when I when I put that wire back on there, 
then you heard the same two notes that come back up. The first guitar, then the drum set, and then another tune, another guitar comes in. You heard, you heard that part. If it wasn't for that one side, you wouldn't even hear that guitar. It wouldn't be there. If you were playing this on a mono turntable, you wouldn't hear both left and right sides. This record, the best way to play this one, you need both left and right to get it to work. Just like All Star, you need left and right to actually hear all the all the band members playing, and not just part of them. So that's just, so. So now I know that it's not the amplifier's problem; it's the wire problem that went from the cartridge. At first, I just thought maybe the cartridge was bad, but as soon as I noticed that wire right there just now, it just fall right off. I didn't see it last night because it didn't go anywhere. But that wire was definitely broke, so I gotta get it sometime, get a soldering gun to get that fixed. So, but that was the last. That was like the last installment that I needed to do on this thing. Besides, this jukebox need to be cleaned, but I'm not a very good cleaner at all. And plus, I don't got a lot of time at all. Doing most of your work at work than trying to do stuff at home is not an easy task. I spend more time at work than I do at home. So, but. Now the Wolitzer is, like I said, it's all back fully operational. Just got to fix the little copper pieces here for the coin operation so I can get that running. You can easily do a free selection by swiping this pin, free play pin up here. I can get a free play out of it, so. Well, in my next video, I'll be, sh I'll be showing the uh, new jukebox I got. So, I'll see you then.